How do you choose the right welding hood? Well first, let's talk about what's important about a welding hood. The welding hood is generally a plastic, non-flammable material with a protective screen behind which is the lens. The welding hood and its lens protect you from dangerous levels of UV radiation that are produced through arc welding. Welding lenses come in a variety of shades from 8 to 14. 8 being the least dark, 14 being the most dark. 10 is what you see most often sold in the welding shops. Some people like the lighter shades so they can see better. Other processes burn much hotter such as heliarc or TIG welding and require a darker lens. All lenses, regardless of their shade, provide complete UV protection. What you see here on the table are three styles of welding hood. This one is the most modern, the middle one is the intermediate, and the one on the far right, an old favorite of mine, is from several decades ago. As you can see, it's large and spacious inside. It has a stiff plastic headgear with a ratcheting size attachment so I can fit snugly to my head. It's also fitted with a forehead band for comfort. All hoods have similar headgear and it's also very important to that the headgear is adjusted properly so that the hood sits in the proper position related to your face and doesn't cause undue neck strain. In the past couple decades we've seen enormous technological advances with auto darkening hoods. These work with polarizing filters that are optically engaged at the instant the arc is struck. That is, you can see clearly through them before you weld, and then as soon as you strike the arc, the lens changes to provide the necessary UV protection. These are a lot easier to use. The disadvantage is that they can be very expensive. Um, you can find cheaper versions, but I wouldn't recommend them. A good hood like this will cost you upwards of $200. This hood is also fitted with the same kind of headgear, but you'll notice an on-off switch. In this case, the optical operated auto darkening filter is, operates with the aid of a battery. You want to make sure that the head, that the helmet fits snugly and that the crown is engaged with your head. Make sure it's tight. It's also possible to adjust the stiffness of the helmet on this, with these side dials here and that tells you, keeps, gives you some control over how, whether it's easy or hard, to raise and lower the hood. Basically you want that to be tight enough so that the hood will stay in the position that you want it to, either up or down.